Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to another video. We all know what's strong in 3v3, whether that be from playing ourselves, watching streams, or taking note from our very own tier lists here at Skillcapped. We all know what makes these comps strong, but what actually counters them? Well, we hit up our rank one consultants and ask them to share what counters their comps. Welcome to Counter the Meta. The five strongest and most popular compositions in the meta right now are RM Pala, RM Priest, Jungle Cleave, Windwalker, DH, Resto Shaman, and lastly, Fire, Destro, Mistweaver. And to start, let's look at RM Pala. This is possibly the most common composition to face right now, and for good reason. This is one of the strongest comps in the game right now and does good into almost every comp, bringing high burst damage during their easy to achieve setups, tons of defensive cooldowns on short CDs due to Paladins with ineffable truth, and the ability to spite also makes even their hardest matchups winnable. There is one composition though that RM Pala notoriously struggles with, and this is Jungle Cleave. Jungle Cleave consists of Disc Priest, Feral Druid, and Survival Hunter. Why this comp is considered a counter to RM Pala is due to a few factors. Fire Mage relies on Combustion in order to make their setup so potent. Survival Hunters are a direct counter to this as their 1 minute cooldown, Roar of Sacrifice, makes the target immune to critical strikes. Since Combustion gives the Mage a 100% chance to crit, this obviously completely negates the cooldown, while also having the ability to deal with Assassination Rogue thanks to Mending Bandage, removing their Garotes and Ruptures from the kill target, which can help relieve a lot of the pressure and reduce RM Pala's overall output. Girl Druid as a whole have also been very strong versus Rogue Mage in general. The ability to not be polymorphed or cross crowd controlled gives them a unique advantage. Jungle as a whole can also deal with spites a lot better than most teams. Having the freedom from the Hunter combined with Leap of Faith from the Priest and Feral able to shift slows means that they have some good ways of dealing with it. As for kill pressure, Jungle is insane at killing rogues inside of their stuns. Both classes have insane burst damage and easy to land crowd control. This means that they can take down rogues in just a few setups. Alright, up next we've got RMP. This popular Disc Priest combination brings some added utility and damage that the Paladin counterpart doesn't. Generally, this does a lot better against Caster Cleaves, as the Priest has a much easier time avoiding CC and healing through spread pressure. So, what is RMP's biggest counter? Funnily enough, it's actually its Paladin counterpart, RM Pala. Yeah, I guess the only counter to Rogue Mage is truly Rogue Mage. This is down to a few factors. Pretty much everything in this matchup a Priest does, a Paladin does better. A Paladin brings more burst damage during setups with hard hitting judgments, has better healing throughout the entire game thanks to Wings. And they even have better CC with Ineffable, which plays a huge factor in this matchup. Ineffable allows the Paladin to quickly get back very important defensive CDs that are so vital in this matchup. The Paladin is going to have either Blessing of Protection or Sacrifice for almost every setup you do, which is just absurd. Not to mention the Perma uptime on wings will just allow them to recover any sustained pressure that you put out. While the Paladin can become a kill target if playing ineffable, the short cooldown on bubble paired with having wall back for almost every kidney makes them still a very hard target to focus down and going Paladin in this matchup will put you on a very short timer. The RM Pala also has the advantage when it comes to Spite, which can play a very important part in this matchup. Having freedom to completely counter this gives them the advantage. Generally a very one-sided matchup and considered by many RMP's biggest counter. Alright, our next composition on this list is going to be Jungle Cleave. Jungle has been popular for some time, having good showings in both tournament and ladders. Very good survivability paired up with high burst damage and CC makes this a staple comp position in 3v3. Although jungle has had the same counters for a long time now, primarily jungle struggles against one thing in particular, and that's caster cleaves. Jungle has a ton of utility to counter cleaves such as tracker's net, thorns, coupled with the ability to kite and deal damage from range, but when it comes to casters, lack any real tools. Both the feral and the hunter lack any real lockdown. The three main comps that jungle struggles with right now are either Ellie Destro, Mage Destro, or Shadow Priest Destro, with either Holy Paladin or Resto Shaman healers for the most part. The reason behind this is that two casters will always outpressure the jungle cleave. Being able to play in a triangle formation makes it incredibly hard for the jungle to secure CC and get back to their targets to deal any relevant pressure. Add tools like Grounding Totem, Mass Dispel, and especially Imp from the Destro Warlock, this will result in a very frustrating gameplay. Generally, these caster comps tend to also have an abundance of defensive CDs to rotate through, 
though if you finally do get some CC to stick, they're always going to have something to rotate. This essentially causes the game to always go long enough where the jungle cleave will eventually get out pressured and run out of mana. Next up, we have Windwalker DH Resto Shaman, and this is commonly agreed to be the best melee cleave in the game right now, having the insanely high consistent damage from both the Windwalker and the DH, paired with unrivaled mobility and defensive cooldowns to rotate through. Match this all with a Resto Shaman, it makes for three very durable and hard to kill classes. So what is the biggest counter to this top tier melee cleave? Well, the answer is our Impala. Our Impala brings some of the most explosive damage in the game, which is needed to take down these durable melee classes as you need lockdown and burst damage to secure a kill on any of the members of this cleave, which of course Rogue brings. Our Impala has kill pressure on any target in this matchup. So one wrong move and you can find yourself quickly dead. Also, the Windwalker is very susceptible to being spited, something our Impala specializes in doing. Not to mention Windwalker DH relies a lot on securing mana leads by consistently burning. Securing burns versus Rogue Mage Pala is not easy to do. Between the CC and the fact that Paladins don't really use too much mana in the first place, it's just tough. It's also hard to get any real pressure due to the Paladin running ineffable, meaning his strong CDs are going to be on such a short cooldown, resulting in him having bop or sack for every time you have important offensives like Touch of Death. Beyond all of that, the ridiculous healing a Paladin is capable of during their seemingly permanent uptime on wings makes this Windwalker Demon Hunter's biggest counter composition. To wrap things up, our last comp we're going to cover is the popular caster composition, Fire Mage Destro Warlock Mistweaver. Paired together, two of the strongest casters with the best throughput healer makes this composition one of the scariest to face. Well, that's unless you're playing their biggest hard counter, that is. One spec in particular does insanely well into this comp, and that's Elemental Shamans. Paired up with a Destro Warlock and Mistweaver of their own makes for an impossible comp to win for the Fire Mage Destro. While two of the best casters objectively, Fire Mage and Destro, both need to cast in order to make any real pressure that sticks. Elemental, on the other hand, has all of the tools to stop that a low cooldown interrupt in Windshear, Grounding Totem, and even Tremor Totem. Elementals in general also don't need to cast in order to get their damage out. And thanks to Gushing, dealing some of the highest consistent pressure out of any casters right now, with the ability to burst hard with Earthshock and Stormkeeper, which are again, instant. It really is just a PVE battle in the end, but a very one-sided one at that eventually just whittling you down on both pressure and your mana bar to inevitable slow defeat. This makes Elemental Destro Warlock Mistweaver the ultimate counter to Fire Mage Destro. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed.